guys, and we're back talking about electricity. Today we're going to talk about how electricity can attract and repel other objects. Electrically charged objects can attract an uncharged object, a, an object that is not electrically charged. And it can either attract or repel another char charged object without any contact between the two objects. Kind of like magic, they can attract or repel without touching. Let's go ahead and find out how that happens. We know that attract means to pull together and that opposite poles of a magnet attract. We call this attraction. So we have a north and a south pole. They pull together. We say that they're attracting or they're being attracted or they have attraction. Repel with magnets again is to force away, to keep it away, to push it away. So if you take a south end and a south end of a magnet and you put them together, they kind of push each other away and repel each other. If you take a north end and a north end, they repel each other, they push away. We call this repulsion. And we're going to talk about how electricity can cause this attraction and repulsion of other objects. We can also use electricity to create magnets because they have those qualities. If we take a coil with electricity flowing through it, it creates a magnet called an electromagnet. These magnets are temporary. They only work as long as the circuit is closed, remember completing the loop, and the electromagnet will then attract some metals. As soon as that electromagnet circuit is opened, it drops the metals. It doesn't really drop them, but it lets go of them. It no longer attracts them. You can create an electromagnet using a nail, some copper wire, and a battery. Remember, you only do things like this with adult help and permission. And Ms. Kirshner will be making an electromagnet with us. So we're going to have lots of fun doing that. Static electricity is something a little bit easier to grasp. We see that all the time. Static electricity is defined as electric charges that build up on an object. So whenever electric charges build up on something, then we can have static electricity. Static electricity is actually stronger than gravity. It's stronger than the force that's binding you to Earth and pulling you down. Crazy, right? It does not rely on friction. Even though you think, okay, if I scoop my feet across the rug a lot, maybe when I touch my sister it might shock her. It doesn't rely on friction. Let's go ahead and look at this diagram. If we look at a picture of a balloon and a hand, before we rub the balloon on the hand, we see positive and negative equal here. Positive and neg negative equal here. After we've rubbed it for a while, now let's look at it. I have positives and negatives, and wow, so I have negatives and negatives and negatives, and now the hand has lots and lots of positives. So this has a buildup of electric, electron, charges that build up on that object. So now if I touch, if I pull something close to it, like maybe someone's, if I put it near a head of hair, it would attract the hair, it would pull it towards it. Static electricity happens because of an imbalance of positive and negative charges. Just like we saw, the hand had lots of positive, I'm sorry, the hand had very, had, yeah, the hand had lots of positives and the balloon had lots of negatives. It was an imbalanced charge. And it happens more easily in the dry weather. Without the presence of water in the air, without the presence of that humidity, it happens a lot easier. Static charges can cause objects to repel or attract each other. Just like we said, we can take that balloon and rub it on something and pull it up close to my hair, and my hair would be full of static. It might be right now, because I used a hairbrush before that could always make some static. There we go. So it pulls it towards the objects. Static charges can be released as a spark when electrons move quickly from one object to another. You might see that sometimes if you're touching the door or if you're touching the, um, like the door getting out of your car. I know sometimes if you're in the winter and you wear those fleece jackets or fleece hoodies, when you take them off, your hair all stands up and the first thing you touch always shocks you. Because it's dry weather, you've had that imbalance of positive and negative charges and the electrons quickly jump to another area. Some other examples of static electricity are when you touch a door handle, you get that shock, lightning, and again, the, when you rub something and you build up 
um, electrical charges. All right, we'll talk some more about electricity next time.